Fishing the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Sandy Point Resort. Experience Sandy Point Resort's year-round lifestyle on the shores of Gull Lake in Central Alberta. Tracker boats, fish the finest. Adventure Destination International. Book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destination International and Thompson's Camps, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of fishing the Wild West TV. This week on Fish in the Wild West TV, we finally got to come home to Sandy Point Resort on Gull Lake. We're going to show you structure. I know the structure well on this lake, but I've used what I've learned on Gull Lake at Sandy Point Resort to catch walleye throughout North America. Structure is key. I'm going to show you what I look for to find walleye throughout the day, including during the heat of the day. Find the structure, create the flash and vibration, and you'll hook up walleye all day long. Hope you enjoy this episode of Fish in the Wild West TV. Right in front of us is a big hump, a sunken hump, and it's going to go down to about nine feet of water. But what I'm looking for now, I'm coming up on the edge. You see it's 13 feet of water. I want to start my just favorite position or depths to, to start fishing is 16 to 20 feet of water. So all I'm going to do is back up and you'll see that the hill here, we're going to start dropping off into deeper water. And that's where I like to start. I'm going to hit spot lock. I guess I'm going to deploy it first. Now I'm going to start right here in 18 feet of and you can see the hill climb. Walleye will often sit on that structure halfway up at the bottom or even on the top. So what we're going to do, start kind of the bottom to the middle and work our way up. If we don't find any walleye, maybe we'll go out deeper. Maybe they're out in the flats behind us before they come to this hill. And that's just the simple thing is I, you got to try all areas of the structure you're fishing. So we're going to send down some big sky jigs tipped with a frozen minnow. Hopefully we'll land a couple. We'll go to another spot and we'll show you why they're holding there and why we look for these things on different lakes that hold walleye so we can find walleye fast. There he is again. This is him right here. There he is. Set it back down to him and he just waited for it. So that's an 18 feet of water. Right on, right on the structure where he's supposed to be. And he just took the stinger hook. Get my pliers. Just a little guy, but we found him. We've located him. And that's the most important thing. You can't catch walleye if you can't find them. Away he goes. Also, when you pull up on a spot, it might be five or ten minutes before you get a bite because you, if you come with the big motor, you may have just disturbed them, especially the shallower water. But also, you just moved your boat over. It's windy here, but nice bright sunny day out. You just moved your boat into the area and now you've created a different shadow that wasn't there just seconds ago. So they'll adjust, give them a few minutes to adjust and you should start picking them up. So here's one now, we've been here about two minutes and there he is. And again, maybe he came to the shadow of the boat that wasn't here a few seconds ago. Who knows, but don't get impatient because they're there. Again, right by the stinger hook. Always fish a stinger hook unless I'm fishing a leech. That's a nice walleye. Fat, healthy, nice colors, shining in the light. And back in the water. Rebate. Uh, don't try to use just, I mean, in the winter ice fishing, I might go a head and half, but once your, once your minnow's used, it's used. 
through the eyes, push it up, back through the body. Make sure the hook is all the way through. Stinger hook, midway in the body. Two prongs pointing up, while I grab it, they're hooked. And a big sky flies and jig. This segment has been brought to you by Lynn Thompson Lures, Canadian made for over 90 years, and Rock Guard, protect your investment. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures, made in North America for over 50 years. can't hear the drag on this is silent but he's pulling he's pulling a lot of drag look at that that's a beautiful love watching walleye come from the depths to the surface shine in their bright gold colors Awesome. I could do this all day long. Now these, what we're doing here is finding this structure. If you were on a lake you've never been to before, and if you have quality electronics, you may have to spend some time driving around and, and finding structure. And I've always said that a lot of times you may not see the fish. I don't use my graphs to see the fish. I use it to find the structure. Uh, another great information is from locals. You know, if you're respect and respectful and polite and ask, they'll, they'll help you out. They may not give you their favorite hotspot, but they'll point you in the right direction. In return, when they come to your lake, help a guy out, give them, you know, point them in the right direction. And be respectful of the water body you're on. Practice catch and release, this feels like a good fit. Again, that with rough conditions like this, that braid makes a big, big difference. Beautiful walleye. He got it by the big hook, the big sky hook, right in the top of his mouth. Perfectly. Great walleye. And away he goes. We'll catch one more, then we'll head to the next structure and show you why they're holding on that point. I don't know if you can see, he's right on the tip of the rod. You can just see that <laughs> they're biting so light. And then again, you got the the waves which the wind is is settling down it's supposed to turn really really hot today um bright hot skies and we're going to show you that as well that fish bite walleye bite more than just in the mornings and evenings beautiful walleye Where he goes. This is fun. Conservation Corner is brought to you by Brian Muir with IA Securities, aligning your financial future so you can spend more time outdoors. On this week's Conservation Talk, it's more of a boat launch etiquette. We've done this uh, episode two years ago, but by popular demand, we've been requested to do it again. Boat launch etiquette is something you may or may not see it. Boat launches across North America. And I don't believe that it's anybody being rude or trying to hold anybody else up. It may just be they don't know. When you pull into a boat launch, you pull into, a lot of them have a, a boat launch circle. You pull in, stop, and that's where you unhook everything you need. Your tarp, 
your motor support, your support straps for your boat. The worst thing you can do when this boat launch is full, pull around, back down to the boat launch, and then start doing all the stuff you need to do for a day on the water. So now, five, 10 minutes, we've got everything we need for a day on the water, fishing, our, our coolers, our bait, tackle, everything's unhooked. Now we can pull around to the boat launch, and within a minute, we're launched, the trailer's out of the way, I'm on the water, and the next person can back in. It's quick, easy, respectful to others, and everybody who's going on the water can get on in a timely fashion and enjoy a full day on the water without boat launch frustrations. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Big Sky Flies and Jigs. This segment is brought to you by Lucky Bug Lures, get hooked on Lucky Bug Lures, and Tourism Saskatchewan. Start planning your visit today. There he is. Right beneath the boat. Again, I don't know if they hide in the shadow or come into the shadow, and, and they're holding so tight to the bottom, the graph can't tell it, but as soon as I, you can see on the graph up front, as soon as this fish is scattering around the bottom, other fish are rising and the graph will pick it up. These are all pretty consistent, two pounds, two and a half, two and a half pounds. Beautiful walleye. Great, look, he's mad. Away he goes. So, we're gonna move to another spot here. This is a known hot spot. The, the marina is straight across the lake. If you wanna to come to this spot, the marina's right there. Launch your boat from Sandy Point uh, Resort from the marina. You can't see it on camera, but you can see the lighthouse come straight out to the lighthouse. I don't know how far we are off the other side. On your graph, whether you have high-end graphs or just a, a simple graph that's just showing you depth is all you really need to know. Find the nine, 10 feet of water, move off into those sunken humps or off the edge of those sunken humps into deeper water. The walleye will be holding at different depths. You just have to move a couple boat lengths at a time and find out where those walleye are. Set down your anchors. We got the good fortune of spot lock on our trolling motor but you can set down an anchor. In conditions that you're in here, you might want to set down two anchors, uh, either two at the front or one at each end, and stay completely stationary. Let that bait vertical jig, let them grab it, let them decide if they want it or not, and set the hook. And they will be at various depths on that structure throughout the day. Let's take you to another spot, and show you why they're holding there. Okay, so here it comes. You can see the fish holding on it already. Just like that in a boat length, we dropped five feet. So that steep, sharp drop off is one of my favorite. Anytime I find that on any lake, I fish it. Especially if you're out in the middle of the lake, mid lake humps and drop offs like that will hold walleye almost year round. So we're just backing up. I'm gonna deploy troll the motor. Now the waves are pushing against us, so I'm just waiting until the troll the motor gets down. Shut this off. Now I want to kind of, I'll use the trolling motor. Look at the fish on that structure. A lot of people will race past this. So I got the trolling motor moving now. Again, it, it's flattened out, but that's what the graph does. It, it, once you get sitting on a spot, it just flattens out. I'm hitting anchor now. The boat will turn into the wind and we should be sitting right on that 16 to 18 foot edge and we're going to jig it. There's one there. Again, that's right on that sharp drop off, right on it. And this, 
the, the sharper the drop off that's holding walleye, say in the mornings or evenings, I make those my go-to spot in mid-afternoon. In the heat of the day, those are my go-to spots. This fish got a lot of heart. Hang on, young fella. He's got it just by the stinger hook. And that took probably 10 minutes since we pulled up here Whoop. before we got a bite. So again, it just shows be patient. Even though we're seeing them on the graph, be patient. There he is. Again, the harder, sharper the drop off, the more is my favorite to where I would go back into the heat of the day is where I'd go to fish walleye when everybody's back at the resort. I love sharp drop offs. There he goes. Fishing the Wild West TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by the Canadian National Sportsman Shows and Wild Rose Brewery, branded with character. <laughs> that was a nice, he just about took the rod out of my hand. <laughs> That's a nice walleye. He's net worthy. He's really nice. Nice healthy walleye there. Set this down, get him up and we'll show you. He might even be, he's definitely picture worthy. That is a, a fat walleye. He's really fat across the belly, across the back. He's heavy. We're getting back in the water. This feels like another great walleye too. And it just, it just got to the bottom. He is. These are bigger walleye and solid. I don't want to stick my fingers in there because they are toothy. Beautiful, love them. I could fish walleye all day long, whether it be bottom bouncing, jigging, running a buzz bomb, spin-o. I could do all day long. I'd never tire of this. <laughs> we just moved spots. And like we said earlier in the show, you don't have to, when, this might even be a pike. When you go across, or when the fish turn off, you don't got to race across the lake. You just got to move a couple boat lengths. The fish and the bite turned off from where we just were. And we moved 10 feet, 15 feet. Oh, got a, and I got a walleye. You don't have to race across the lake. Just move a little bit within that same structure because the fish have just moved a little bit within that same structure. I would have raced across the lake I'd have left this guy behind. You don't want to do that. Back in there. 
This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the structure I look for when I'm finding walleye, whether it be on Gull Lake here at Sandy Point Resort or any lake across North America. Structure is key. Walleye, or all fish species, need only three things to catch them. You need structure, vibration, and flash. If you have those three elements, you can catch fish on any lake. Let's look at some of the things we use today. I started off on, on sharp drop-offs, rock drop-offs, using the, the Big Sky Flies and jigs. I like the vertical jig, but these jigs can be casted out, jigged back to the boat. You can cast them onto the structure, jig them down the structure, or the other way and jig them up the structure. That's one of my favorite ways. I'm a jig fisherman at heart. Another thing that we used was the two inch buzz bomb. And it was a great lure, created a lot of flash and vibration. Uh, we'd, same thing, we'd set up and jig on, on sharp drop offs. And as it comes up, it spins on the line and drops back down. I actually changed it out to a single hook. And again, these lures, create either flash or vibration, but none of them are any good if you don't find the structure. That's this week's Bass Pro Shops Gear Talk. Good luck on the water. I hope you learned a lot from this week's episode on Gull Lake. If you want to get into walleye fishing or, or just enjoy a day of walleye fishing, book in the campground at Sandy Point Resort in the RV park, launch at the Sandy Point Marina and come out here. Truth is, Go Lake, wherever you put down a bottom bouncer, a jig, you're going to catch walleye. But look for the structure that we showed you on today's episode on Go Lake and any lake, and you'll consistently land more walleye. That's this week's episode. I'm your host, Wes David, Fish in the Wild West TV. Now I can feel the weight of them. Pick it up. From this point on, don't give them any slack. That's where you lose your fish. Give them slack line, they got a chance to spit it. Just a little guy, but lots of them. Living a dream, fishing the stream. Fishing the stream, living a dream. Living a dream, fishing the streams. Fishing the wild west.